Hi guys, it's Laura. On today's version of what is dot dot dot, I want to talk to you about TVP or textured vegetable protein. Now, normally when I tell people I'm eating TVP and they ask, what does TVP stand for? And I tell them textured vegetable protein. They're like, what is that? <laughs> And I can understand their reaction, but let me assure you, you may have actually already eaten TVP and not even known it, especially if you've dabbled at all or experimented at all with vegetarian cooking. So let me show you with TVP, a package that it comes in normally. Sorry, I'm pretty much out right now, but Bob's Red Mill sells TVP. I love Bob's Red Mill. They sell great products. Um, so normally it comes like this, and then you should have seen a picture of what it looks like in its raw form in the cover photo for this um, video. However, the form that you've probably more than likely seen it in is something that looks more like this. So Boca and Morningstar have both come out with um, vegetarian ground crumbles, um, a product that you can use in place of beef ground crumbles in any recipe that would call for them like spaghetti, pasta dishes, I put them on salads, I throw them on everything. So a couple of different things. Uh, TVP or textured vegetable protein is a byproduct of making uh, soy flour. So when the soy oil, soybean oil is extracted, you're left with these textured vegetable protein crumbles. Um, and it's just a great source of protein. It's low in fat um, and it's very versatile in whatever you want to cook with. And um, before when I first became vegetarian and subsequently vegan, I did buy the Boca and Morningstar crumbles quite frequently. Um, they're easy to use, they're great to have on hand. However, I found it's pretty easy to replicate um, the flavor and yourself and a lot cheaper. So, for example, um, a bag this size costs about uh, $3 usually. You can find it at any grocery store. It's usually in the baking aisle, which is a little different to me, but you'll find it with all the other Bob's uh, Red Mill products. And a bag like this from Boca can cost you anywhere from 5 to $6. Now to give you an idea, there are supposedly six servings in this bag um, from Boca, I would say more like four. Um, and with Bob's Red Mill, there's 11 servings in this bag. So this bag costs about uh, $3, I think I said that already, 11 servings going by the package here. And this bag costs about 5 to $6 and you get four to six servings. So we're going to head to the kitchen and I'm going to show you how to make this taste like this. Okay, so you always cook TVP in a ratio of 2 to 1. So for every cup of TVP you are using, use 2 cups of water. The TVP will expand as it cooks, so 1 cup dry TVP is probably going to equal about 2 cups cooked. TVP on its own is sort of bland in flavor, so if you want to Make it taste like ground beef crumbles to add to pasta or other dishes. And to really emulate that flavor that Boca or Morningstar crumbles have, we're going to add a couple things to our TVP. So we're going to start and add one to two tablespoons of olive oil. You're going to add two to three tablespoons of liquid aminos or soy sauce. Going to add a couple drops of liquid smoke. And then I guesstimate this, but I would say I add about a half teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder. You can just play with the flavor though. Um, then I add a little bit of Italian seasoning or oregano and a couple dashes of pepper. Now I don't add salt just because there is a higher sodium content in liquid aminos or soy sauce, but I, again, just encourage you to play with the flavor and add more salt if that is what you prefer. Okay, so I have mixed in all of the ingredients I told you to mix in to make this taste more like ground beef. Um, as you can see, the mixture is simmering, um, some of the water has been absorbed, um, and the TVP has grown in volume. So we're just going to let this simmer until all the water is absorbed. Uh, total, this takes about, I'd say, seven to ten minutes. I'm sure you can hear how this is sizzling and you can see how the water has been absorbed. So if I look, oops, look a little bit, um, this is starting to brown up and for the last couple minutes here we're just going to keep this moving 
um, let the TVP brown up a little bit, and then it will be ready to eat. Okay, so now we're done out of the kitchen. Um, what I've done is I cooked up some noodles at the same time I was making the TVP. Um, I add a little bit of sauce to it, and as you can see here, I have a nice pasta dish going on. So just noodles, some spaghetti sauce, and TVP. Another thing I like to do is cook up a butter, or excuse me, a spaghetti squash once a week, um, and that's just a great alternative to pasta if you're looking for a lower calorie or lower carb option. And as I said before, TVP works great on salads too. You can have it cold or warm once it's done with this initial cooking. Um, so the amount that I cooked tonight, which was one cup dry TVP, makes about six servings. So it really does last me the whole week. Um, it's convenient. You can make it at the same time as you're making the rest of your, your dinner. So like I said, I made the pasta and the TVP at the same time. It all came together in about 10 minutes. So it's just a great weeknight dinner um, thing to use. So I hope you enjoyed the recipe and learned a little bit tonight. Um, if there is another vegetarian or vegan ingredient you'd like me to cover, please just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to touch on it. I hope you guys all have a great day or afternoon or night and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.